Alrighty everyone, welcome back to the channel. Rise and shine. It's flea market time. Today should be a fun day. Alright, so we're heading out to the flea market, going to try to do some buying. Uh, usually I don't set up today, so that's why I'm not selling. Kind of run out of inventory at the same time. Uh, so I probably got like one more week after tomorrow, which I'll probably sell. Uh, but big news is I have a friend, well, James and Jess, who is my friend, uh, friends. They have a connection to buying a bunch of vintage sports stuff possibly some vintage college stuff apparently there's jerseys hats all sorts of stuff so at the end of this episode we're probably going to try head over there and check out that collection uh, i don't know what to expect it looks promising from what i've been told so maybe just maybe we'll buy collections let's see how this day goes and let's get into it let's do it humanity is terrible today I'll tell you that there's really not that many vendors which usually is how it is on a day like today just watch your hands no tomorrow most likely tomorrow no There's really no rhyme or reason for a lot of stuff. Oh, nice. These are kind of cool. These are not like worth money, but Robotai, Robotai. I don't know if this is the guy of Luke Robotai, the son. It's pretty cheap. Gotta figure out how much these hats are. I want this one. I want to grab this guy for nostalgia factors. How much are the hats? Grab this for four bucks. All right. Wow, sun's getting hot. So I parked over here next to James and Jess. They're the ones with the antique booth. Um, I sold them a bunch of stuff in that auction. I also sold them that really nice table that I had uh, that I got at in Lambertville. So. That all worked out. Uh, he is supposed to call me and let me know. Bad. I didn't really grab much. There really weren't that many vendors. Obviously, now you see it's getting kind of packed. But it's also getting kind of warm, so I might bring that handy dandy fan tomorrow for the uh, the flea market. But got to pack up, and we'll see where the day takes us from here. That's a neat, neat little gadget. Whoa! Holy drift. Pack up. If I ever need one of those, I want that one. That thing was whipping around the corner. It's pretty neat. All right, and the power of editing and such. Um, 
not sure what's really going on here, but he uh, he did text me. It's been probably about four hours since I left the flea market. I've been waiting for the text. Grab the monies if all goes well. We'll see what happens. All right, so here's the collection. Tons of Reebok. This is Old Wilson. Starter. These are all champion. Champion. Another champion. It's all the football jerseys. There's a ton there. He has hockey jerseys. Got some Yankee stuff. Got a Jeter. It's actually a nice Lloyd May starter jersey. There's more football. Really nice. Some Jaguars jerseys here. Older Nike, Coliseum, this is Nebraska, Adidas. There's some really nice, hard to find stuff here. Some UVA stuff. Older Reebok. Reebok Classic. Starter. I'm telling you, this is a lifetime pick here. Got some San Diego Charger champion. <coughs> Got some cool, this one's stained. It's a nice old Luke Robitaille jersey. Got a bunch of champion jerseys also, which are really sought after. Old and Reebok. This is like a kid in heaven. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to work out a deal for the other stuff. But I bought all the hats. And I paid up on them. I didn't didn't really get them that cheap. Some of these are pretty old. Some of these are pretty shot also. But there's a couple decent ones in here that I think I'll make some money on. The sad thing is there's a lot of hats in here that are just really, really probably destroyed but we got some older stuff it's a whole collection right here I think of Florida State some really cool stuff this one's probably a decent one so I'll have to actually go through everything but I did pay up uh, I think that's what you kind of have to do a little bit so it's an insane collection hopefully Hopefully, I think there's about 400, 500 items in here. Very cool. Is this Eagles, maybe? No, Jets. Champion Jets jacket. Just kind of doing one last go around. Um, I've been good friends with this guy. Actually, he follows the channel. They both follow the channel. Um, and I got this lead through. James and Jess <laughs> and, and you, you know you really do find people and you know he definitely gave me a good deal on the hats um, because I know what they're gonna sell for tomorrow they're doing a yard sale uh, but there's just there's way too much here and there's no way with the price of what it is I can really give them a reasonable offer I mean there was what there was an offer on a table like a lot of these jerseys are 30 40 dollar jerseys some of these are really cool um, there's just no way I can, you know, I can't buy it all. I would love to, but, you know, you have to be kind of, kind of reasonable. And I understand they definitely paid up on this. All right. Wow. All right. So I ended up buying, what did we buy? Six boxes of hats. I'm trying to do the math in my head. Spent a little bit of money here. All right, so this is an absolute insane score. Uh, for anyone out there who likes this sports stuff and likes the college stuff, the snapbacks, 
uh, you are going to be very appreciative of this haul. Uh, if you're not into it, well, I'm going to try to explain some of it and talk a little bit about it. But uh, this is really a great, it, it's a great lot. All right. So like I like doing this because I like the resale aspect, but I really love the nostalgia factor. I was talking to a guy who bought this. Uh, he bought out a whole collection of all the sports stuff. I know he did all right, uh, but he doesn't do this kind of stuff. He doesn't do clothing. He likes antiques. So like to, for me to see it, I'm really appreciative of it. And he knew I was very appreciative of it. And it just it's just crazy because I'm probably never going to find this stuff ever again. And I see YouTube videos on it, and it happens like once every three years one of these kind of collections pop up on YouTube. But this is really just an insane haul. So I couldn't make a deal on everything. Uh, the price point just wasn't there. I knew they had to make money. And then I told him, I was like, look, man, I told him the prices he should get for everything. I told him what I pay for this stuff at thrift stores, what it might go for online. I was really honest with him. Uh, and I said, look, I'm not going to try to lowball you if you can make yourself a couple more thousand dollars tomorrow. you know. And he'll do all right tomorrow. So uh, I did say at the end, once everything was all signed, I was like, look, if you have a bunch of stuff after the yard sale, if you want to blow it all out, I'll definitely be interested in buying it. But it has to be pretty cheap because there was like, just like this, there's a lot of stuff there that is, let's say like 20% of the stuff there was like really good stuff. Like you'll see in these hats, 40% was like average. And then the rest was like dollar 50 cent items. So uh, whenever you buy these collections, you're going to end up having a lot of that. So for example, this is, I think a shadow design. This is logo pro line. This might be logo seven. Like I had the same exact team or not same team. I had the uh, sports specialties. I had the same exact design for the dolphins. I think I got 30 bucks for it. This Denver Nuggets. We have an older Giants. This is probably an older new era. That's exactly what it is. So 100% wool made in USA size seven and one eighth. Brand new, new old stock. It's just really dusty. But hats like the Superman hat, that's a dollar hat. This one's pretty stained, that's a dollar hat. This is like a $10 hat. A lot of these are dollar hats. But like I said, you know, you're gonna find a $30 or $40 hat in here. I'm sure there's gonna be a couple down here. This one looks really cool, whatever this is. There you go. Uh, this is sports specialties, maybe? No, it's Apex. This design looks very, very familiar. But well, once again, this is a very, very sought after design for the Kentucky Wildcats. This probably won't get 50 cents for. This kind of wraparound design, pretty cool. Got an Eddie George hat. If you're a Titans fan, you might want that. There's a ton of hats. And the thing is, like, a lot of these hats are older ones. Like, this is a brand new, new old stock starter New York Giant snapback. It's yellowed like it's stained, but it's not. And the structure on it is immaculate. I like to say it's perfect. Perfect. This one. I don't know what size, what style that is, but uh, it's pretty sought after. The reason why I'm saying it's pretty sought after is because I remember this just like plain logo front. Maybe that's just a Giants logo. Maybe I'm just losing it. There's a couple. I'm not. I haven't found a. Well, I haven't even gone through it, but I didn't see any shark tooth. I did see one splash. I think it's logo seven. Like I'm really off my brand today, but I remember the styles. I saw one splash design. Splash hats, very, very sought after. Shark tooth, very, very sought after. Um, there's just a crazy amount of hats. Like, that was just one box. So, I did pay up on everything. If you think I paid, like, 50 bucks for all this, you're crazy. If you think I spent 100 200 300 you're wrong. Uh, that's just not going to happen with something like this. Uh, but I did get a fair price on it. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to find the $10, 20 30 $40 hats. There's going to be a couple in here. But I'm going to have to go through all of this and look through all of it to see what it is. We have a nice Patrick Ewing, New York Knicks snapback. And then you're going to just end up with a lot of, I like the ones with like crazy design. Rockets, man. This, I have no idea. This is just like a mosh pit of hats. Florida State Seminoles. Seminoles. More Seminoles. This, awesome design. That's made by Apex. This, $10 hat. There is just... It's going to take forever to go through everything, but I'm really excited. Uh, this is awesome. I made him, uh, I told him, hey, look, if you're going to sell everything else, I'd be interested in and the end of the yard sale um, for like a blowout price if you want. I know you probably have some money tied up into it. So we'll see what happens with that. Obviously, I won't say I came shorthanded. I just don't think we could have made a deal today on the rest of it. There were some really, really nice jerseys. Uh, some of them were probably like $50, $60 jerseys, but 
it just it it, it kind of fell through so uh, we'll see what happens with that I am ecstatic about all these hats big fan of hats big fan of hats so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video thank you for coming along we've been all over the place we've been at yard sales or we've been at uh, we've been at the flea market we bought this whole collection I know my title is video probably about buying a collection but we're at a flea market I apologize for that if it took so long to get to this point um, but yeah the guy bought out a whole collection I thought it was out of a storage unit but it wasn't it was just a, literally a collection so we'll see we'll see and uh, Catch up with you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's adventure. If you guys enjoyed the video, smack the like button. If you want to see more videos just like this, subscribe down below. And I'll catch you guys next time for our next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.